So today, me and the Paul brothers will put Barack Obama, KSI, and DG to rest in this War Games match. Nah, bro, the only person that should be put to rest is me because I'm sleepy as hell. Joe, I specifically told you to not join this Discord call, and look what you do, you join. Like, how delusional do you have to be to not comprehend that? I know your brain is smaller than Ben Shapiro's dick, but holy shit. I'm honestly starting to think that you stalk me. Wait, does delusional mean smart? Bomb has been planted. Bro, what the hell is happening? I don't know Roman, but whatever is happening, it's reminding me of Yemen. Well, now true. I don't think Obama is with us anymore. Joe, I remember when your dumbass said this back in episode one. Does delusional mean smart? And the definition did not fucking change. Delusional still, and will forever mean stupid. Stupidity must run throughout the entire Biden family. Just look at Hunter. That guy is wicked as hell, man. Bro is probably his own species at this point. The crackheadians or some shit. Did you really refer to Hunter Biden as a crackheadian? What in the flying fuck? He does have a point, though. Let's be for real. That reminds me of my favorite show to watch with the kids in the White House basement, The Backyardigans. Such a good show. Bro, you guys missed my entire entrance. Like, what the hell? I'm positive that no one watching this video was like, oh, the only reason why I'm watching this video is to see KSI's entrance. Fuck no. They're only here for Jake Paul's entrance and for us to beat your ass. You got that right, Mr. President. How am I supposed to believe that Jake is going to beat my ass when he doesn't even have a Titantron? Bro is a default WWE 2K23 character creation or something. Shut your dumbass up, KSI, because Titantron or not, I'll still kick your ass and anyone else who steps in my way. That was cringe, not gonna lie. Well, I really don't give a shit. This match is going to be a piece of cake. Obama really recruited people like KSI and DG to help him. Mr. Drone Striker could have chose better people, Lamau. It's quite ironic that you say that since you've never won a match against me or anyone on my team. That doesn't matter, Barack. We're going to beat you and your British buddies today and end this feud once and for all. It might be a little harder for you just because my team has the war games advantage tonight. How come your team gets the advantage and not my team? You didn't even do anything to make your team deserving enough to get the war games advantage, you dumbass. I think we're pretty deserving of the advantage because your fat ass hasn't been able to beat me, KSI, or DG in a match. That's some of the biggest bullshit I've ever heard. I'm literally manhandling KSI right now, Omao. Jake, I think you're just mad that I'm gonna fight Conor McGregor before you, and I didn't even need to fight an old retired UFC fighter to do it. Oh shit. Well, Mao, he got your ass there, Jake. I don't think Jake will be able to recover from that one. Fuck you guys. Well, now it's time for the next person to come out, which will be Deji, because my team has the war games advantage. Finally, someone who says my name right. I was thinking the same thing, because who can't say your name, right? It's literally just DG. Bitch! Bro, calm down and come out here so we can tag Team Jake Paul. KSI, you may want to rephrase that shit. It sounds like you're talking about another form of tag teaming. Yeah, KSI, you can't tag Team Jake Paul as he doesn't have another partner. Maybe you're referring to a handicap match? Ben, you're just too innocent. Protect Ben at all costs. Wait, what did I do, huh? Don't worry about it. Yeah, that did sound pretty sus, KSI. It kind of reminds me of what me and Hunter Biden do to the kids in the White House basement. Our tag team chemistry is immaculate. Uh, what the fuck? Joe, you can't be saying this shit while you're president. Well, back when you were still president, I asked you if me and Hunter could go and tag team you in your bedroom since Michael was gone for the day. And you said hooray and you ran up to your bedroom like a fucking cheetah. That was pretty descriptive, Joe. Cheating on your husband is one thing, but cheating on your husband with your vice president and your vice president's son, holy fucking shit, that's actually insane. Also, Joe is literally 80 years old, so the only thing that's going to be coming out of his flippy flopper is going to be dust. And to add insult to injury, he'd probably fall asleep during the whole ordeal. That's exactly what happened, Lamau. And also, also, I'm going to come out to help Jake Paul because, damn, it really looks like he needs it. Thank you, Trump. I really need the help. These two African-Americans are beating my ass. Dude, we're literally British. Don't care, Omao. This guy is so stupid, holy shit. Well, one thing you won't ever be messing with again is the nuclear codes. I'll have you know that I'm going to be the 47th president of the United States. And the first thing that I'm going to do is launch a nuke at the shithole of Delaware. What's a and Delaware? finishing what Barack started in the Middle East. Bitch. Obama, don't be mad that you won't ever be able to bomb the Middle East again. You have other things to worry about like your husband. But to be honest, that gorilla will have to worry about your wimp ass more, you fucking goof. 
Jesus Christ. How'd you like that DDT Barack? Learned it from an all-time great, and his name is Randy Orton. Yeah, that DDT was pretty good, I guess. Wait, where the hell are you going? Ah! Oh shit, I just pooped my pants. Hey Michael, get in here and wipe my ass. Wait, my husband is in the White House right now? I thought she was just going to order some KFC for dinner. Nah, bro, he's mine now. Well, you can have him. Just give him back to me in a few weeks. And also, that elbow drop Trump did was so bad, El Mal. How do you measure distance in a video game? Holy shit! Jake and Donald, brace yourself as I'm about to come out to the ring. Oh shit, Jake, we gotta hide in the bomb shelter. This arena is about to turn into Yemen. You got him there, Mr. President Omao. Guys, you know Obama is sensitive about that stuff. Does it really look like I give a fuck? No. Then shut up. Trump cold stunner pussy. That's actually the worst finisher I've ever seen, El Mao. Deji, when you look in the mirror, say hi to the clown you see in there for me, would you? Bitch, fuck you. We're gonna beat your asses right now. You dumbasses aren't doing shit. Trump cold stunner pussy. El Mao, did Trump really hit you with a second stunner? Bro, shut the hell up. Now it's time to redeem myself with this Republican elbow. Oh shit, the fat ass actually didn't break his neck this time. Oh, so you call me fat when you've been putting on several pounds. Look at you from 2020 and look at you from 2023. Big difference, you chicken. At least I've been losing some of my fat by golfing. Not this golfing shit again. Football is so much better. I'll have to say that Messi is way better than Ronaldo. I'm talking about football, like American football, you know? Dumbass bitch pussy. That last part felt personal. Christopher Ronaldo, Suey! It looks like I show meat is here. After what you did in that live stream, starting up an OnlyFans wouldn't be such a bad idea. Well, Mal, you really called him my show meat. <laughs> what in the 69 to the power of shit was that? It's just I show meat being I show meat. I show meat, that's what I do to kids. I bark at them like a dog and then I- Joe, stop it. Okay, uh, guys, what should I do since I'm not in the match? You helping the Maui fire would be great at a time like this. They need all of the help they can get right now. Bro, they don't need help over there. They literally got the whole Pacific Ocean so they can use all of that water to put out the fire. Hell, the fire might be CGI for all I know. Wait, what was I saying again? Ain't no way this guy said the fires are CGI, El Mao. Here's the thing. Joe, salt water from the Pacific Ocean can harm plant life. Some species are sensitive to salinity levels. Thus, using salt water may not be a wise first choice in firefighting methods in certain environments. Holy fucking shit, that was so cringe. Shut your nerd ass up. Hey, Logan, what's up? You've been silent so far this episode. Oh, my bad, Donnie. I was just smashing my fiance, and then I look over to me being the final entrant into the match. Hope you had a good time. Melania has been pretty dry recently, not gonna lie. Me and her did good tonight. Well, this match has officially begun. You're actually an idiot, El Mao. The match literally started, like, what, six minutes ago or something? Your drone striking in Yemen must have really messed up your head. Yeah, Barack, the match started earlier, not right now. The match officially starts when the final person enters the cage. That's why the fucking bell just rang. Nah, Barack, you should apply to be a clown at the circus or some shit because you are funny as fuck. You feeble-minded piece of shits. Yeah, you Paul brothers are adjective-lacking normal mental powers to an extreme level. Y'all are starting to act like Uncle Bidenator over here. At least you're acknowledging it, Joe. The only person you all should be acknowledging is me. Yeah, I know. You're lucky you kicked out there. I almost had you pinned for the three count. You weren't even close, Lamau. Dude, Deji, you actually suck. It's so easy to stun you. Bitch, you're only getting lucky. Bro, did Deji finally hit puberty or something? The Big Mac Salt. Did you really just call that move the Big Mac Salt instead of a moon salt? Jesus Christ, Trump, you're literally more in love with McDonald's than your fucking wife. Trump cold stunner pussy. That wasn't even a moon salt. I literally in the first have place. affairs with other women in Mar a Lago, and she doesn't seem to care. Yeah, and that's probably because either she hasn't found out yet, or she's having affairs with men at the same time as your affairs. Nah, Barack, you can't be talking because if you were to do a moon salt, you'd call it the KFC salt or some shit. Me being Obama loves his KFC, especially with grape flavored Kool Aid. Joe knows a lot about that. Uh, what, huh? Wait, shit, fuck me. I forgot. Wait, maybe not. Uh, Roman, I love you so much. Kiss me right now. What? Well, that came out of nowhere. Bro, let his intrusive thoughts win. Biden, you freak. What the hell? I'm having a boner right now, Roman, because of you. Feels good, though. Bro, I must be attractive as fuck if I'm making an 80-year-old man have a boner. Probably the first time in a few decades he's had one. True. Guys, we gotta watch out because Jake and Logan both have three finishers each. You sure about that? We're just so good at this game thanks to the real president of the United States, Donald Big Dick Trump. 
You're on point with that one Logan. That's what I like to hear. Bro, y'all are so obsessed with Trump. Stop simping over his dumbass. Well, I put all of the money I make from my scripted boxing fights into his 2024 campaign fund. That's something you can't say, oh Mao. Trump cold stunner pussy. Let's go, we won. How the hell did you guys win? I didn't see anyone get pinned. I knocked KSI out with the stop sign and then pinned him right before Trump hit Deji with the Trump cold stunner. Pretty genius, not gonna lie. Another genius thing that I did was my crypto scam. Damn, the money that was flooding into my bank account that week was insane. Thanks for sharing some of that cash with me. No problem, Jakey. I'm so sorry, Obama. Maybe we can bomb the Middle East and that can make up for your first loss of the series? No, I'm not really in the mood to blow shit up right now. I think I need to attend the press conference to talk about my future in the WWE. Bro, you're still the champion and you weren't even the one that was pinned. Why are you so depressed right now, Well, now You just don't get it. I'll be watching that press conference and you will probably be crying on camera. One like on this video equals one tear from Barack's eye. Shut up, bitch. Imagine Obama crying out 1,000 tears or something, Lamau. That would flood his house more than I flood inside of children. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm out of this bitch. All right, let's head over to the press conference. What about me? Yeah, and what about me? You two aren't invited. See you losers later. Fuck. fuck. All right, so I came to this press conference to discuss the events that went down during the War Games match earlier, specifically me taking my first loss of the series, Breaking my win streak, while this does hurt quite a bit, I still plan to wrestle and defend my titles. Speaking of the titles, I plan to hold an open challenge in the next episode and anyone can step up to fight me. From Trump to Sleepy Joe, anyone can. But with that, I'm gonna go back to my mansion where I killed my chef at. I already changed my clothes and shit, so I'm just gonna head out. Not so fast, Barack. Don't leave just yet as we have some stuff to talk about. Huh? Who the hell are you? You seriously don't remember me? Barack, what was your favorite thing to do during your presidency? Uh, I guess bombing villages in Yemen, but what does that have to do with anything? Wait, there's no way. Yeah, and that was my country that you destroyed, that was my country that you terrorized, and that was the same God-forsaken country that you killed innocent people in. Hmm. And I think now it's time for some revenge. This is kind of bittersweet, don't you think? No, 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 no! Just get out of here! I will leave if you give me what I want, and what I want is a match with you for your titles in the next episode. It's about time Yemen actually gets some of its gold back from the United States after the bombings. Uh, well, I, uh, uh, fine, you can have a match for my titles in the next episode. Just leave me the hell alone. About that. I'll see you in the next episode, Barry. It'll be over soon. Ha ha ha.